uh, welcome again to our health uh, lecture. And uh, we just have some uh, problems at the start because this is the first time we're going to present a uh, lecture that was emailed to us. And uh, we're getting far, we're not so familiar yet with the operation of this uh, new computer, uh, new laptop of ours. But anyway, we're gonna start now and I would like to introduce to you our uh, lecturer this evening. Uh, there are two sisters. Uh, one is uh, Nancy, Nancy uh, Sarto. She used to be the head, uh, the nursing director of Queen Victoria Hospital. She's going to give a health lecture uh, that will include COVID-19. COVID and the other one is her sister. She's going to ha give also a cooking lecture after Nancy gives her lecture. So without for, for, uh, further ado, I would like to present now to you uh, Mrs. Nancy Sarto. Thank you. Welcome to our health nuggets. Our challenge these days is how to live a happy, healthy life despite of the coronavirus pandemic. But before we go any further, we're going to ask the Lord's blessing with a prayer from our Brother Sonny Wilmot. Brothers and sisters, before we get started today in our presentation, uh, let us have the word of prayer. Loving Father, we thank you that you've blessed us with life and that a merry heart doeth good like a medicine. Let your food be your medicine, and let your medicine be your food. And we pray that your will would be done. May we glean from what we hear today that which will help us to be healthy and happy. In Jesus' name, amen. Mm -hmm. Filled with peace, a mirror world of faith. 
Mercy and some diases for that lovely song. From our theme song, it said, A merry heart doeth good like a medicine. So let's keep a cheerful heart. Our uh, health knowledge outline includes the choices we make in our lives, our health, a review of the wise use of natural remedies to fight diseases. And we will focus on uh, coronavirus, COVID-19. And at the end of the session, we'll have a healthy recipe, Enhanced on Vegan Cooking by Miriam. Now, when we make choices in our lives, we either success or we fail. There are good and bad choices. Every day we are confronted with making numerous choices and this determines our destiny. Opportunity is not always the same, but there are choices to be made by all, good ones and poor ones. Today the question comes, how do we choose? We are challenged to make a choice. Making good or poor health choices is an ongoing struggle. The same battle is fought in spiritual front. Choose for yourself this day whom you will serve. But for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. That's found in Joshua 24, verse 15. Fundamental in all our choices is the one that we make for God. Should we choose to have relationship with God? Yes, we should. Because from that relationship comes peace, joy, patience, temperance, love, loyalty, gentleness, and purity. These are the foundation stone of a healthy, happy, and productive life. We must be sure to make the right choices. Choosing good over poor. Anything that lessens physical health enfeebles the mind and makes it less capable of distinguishing right and wrong. We become less capable of choosing the good and have less strength to will, of the will to do that which we know is to be right. Let's look for an abundant life. God said, I have set before you life in death in Deuteronomy 30 verse 19. Again he said, I have set before you the way of life in Jeremiah 21 verse 8. And in uh, Psalm 16 verse 11 he says, you have 
shown me the path of life. So it's all there for us. An important phrase in Christianity is to heal and to save. Jesus' ministry, it says, I came that you may have life and have it more abundantly, says in John 10 verse 10. God's principle is health and worship. Therefore, I urge you, brethren, by the mercies of God, to present your bodies as a living and holy sacrifice, accepting or acceptable to God, which is your spiritual source of worship, in Romans 12, verse 1 to 2. In 1863, God initiates the cleansing of the earthly sanctuary, giving Ellen White a monumental vision about health. And from the general conference, it says, this is a world vision, tell the world. And from the GC Health Ministry vision, it says that every church as a center for health in the community and every member a medical missionary. And uh, we know that in the medical work, uh, during the end times, it says that soon there will be no more work done in ministerial lines, but medical missionary work. And that's why w what we're doing now is part of our uh, ministry, health ministry, which was initiated by Dr. Frias, and we are very thankful that we were invited today. How about our health? By definition, health is a sound body and a sound mind. It's the ability of all people within the community to reach a full mental, spiritual, and physical potential by giving in safety with vigor and purpose, meeting personal needs, meeting community responsibilities, adapting to change and having trusting and caring relationships. How do the pieces fit together? You see, life is like a big puzzle. Let's look at uh, the physical health. How to live a happy, healthy life with a good nutrition, adequate rest, uh, daily exercise, uh, having a clean water and adequate housing. We will look at it in detail in a few minutes. Our mental health is how we think or process information. Emotional health, how we respond to our thoughts by being surprised, have joy, fear, feel disgusted or sadness and anger. Our medical health is the intervention by our health professionals to rescue and restore by giving us medications treatment, and surgery if necessary. And the last but not the least is our spiritual health. This is what gives meaning and purpose in our life. Let's now look at the uh, wise use of natural remedies to fight diseases. As we can see in this big chart, uh, we have the acronym New START. Let's look at the first one. N is for a good nutrition, proper diet. Some of the degenerative diseases and leading cause of death in our country are considered to be diet related. We have to decrease the amount of fat, sugar, salt, and refined food and avoid uh, empty calories. Eat a variety of fruits, vegetables, whole grain, cereal, and bread nuts, seeds, and legumes. Next is the exercise. Physical exercise has been called the miracle drug. To retard and rapid deterioration, our body needs preventive maintenance in the form of exercise, has to be properly prescribed and regularly carried out. We have to establish a good routine. Moderate large muscle exercise like walking briskly, cycling, jogging, swimming that increases your heart rate and deep breathing. Next is the water. 
Water is the most important nutrient a person consumes every day and is indispensable to life. We have to drink six to eight glasses of water daily. Sunlight is a never failing source of energy and life. It affects every system in the body and it has a tranquilizing and relaxing effect. We have to get a daily exposure of sun at least in the face and in the arms for 10 to 15 minutes. And if it's needed, we can use a sunscreen. Next is our temperance. That means staying away from things that are harmful to our bodies, such as smoking cigarettes and drinking alcohol. Fresh air. Life and health depends on fresh air, lots of it. It vitalizes the brain and is one of the nature's best remedies. At least do 10 breathing or deep breathing exercises every day, preferably outdoor. Adequate rest. Rest preserves the life force. It is essential for recuperation and repair of the body machinery. Sound natural sleep gives vitality to our body and to our mind. Seven to eight consecutive hours of sleep is uh, recommended at least before midnight. Trusting in divine power is essential in our life. A closer relationship with God for a fuller life. Spend at least 15 minutes every morning reading the scripture or other inspirational reading and commit your life to his guidance daily. We have to stick to these natural remedies because otherwise we are in to the world of diseases. And as we see, and previously been discussed by Dr. Frias, uh, we have all these diseases that are preventable if we only uh, stick to our good uh, or proper diet and the good uh, lifestyle. Heart diseases, obesity, cancer, diabetes, stroke, hypertension, high cholesterol, and even the sexually transmitted diseases could be prevented. We are at the middle of a pandemic with the coronavirus. So let's look at the infection prevention and control as per uh, World Health Organization. What is a coronavirus? These are large family of viruses that cause a wide range of illness from common colds to more severe diseases, as in MERS, which is the Middle East Respiratory Syndrome, and SARS, which is the Severe Acute Respiratory Syndrome. A novel coronavirus is a new strain that has not been previously identified in humans. What do we know about COVID-19? Number one, the incubation period. That's the time you get exposed to the virus till you show the first symptoms could be between one to 12 days on an average of five to six days. The modes of transmission is droplets sprayed by affected individual, contact with patient respiratory secretions and contaminated surface and equipment. The transmission is from animals and human to human. Currently, there's no available treatment or vaccination, only supportive measures. What are the signs and symptoms of COVID-19? It's almost like a flu symptoms, but on a more severe cases, people die of pneumonia and bronchitis. First, they could have a, a headache, because of a temperature of over 38 degrees and followed by some respiratory symptoms like cough, sneezing, runny nose, then get short of breath and in the worst scenario gets a kidney failure. Uh, people um, get uh, short of breath and uh, some patients need hospital treatments. We could be in a respirator for many days and months. So 
to the protection and prevention against respiratory infection. Now and again, we p tell people to ha have a good ha hand hygiene and wash your hands regularly. Practice respiratory hygiene. Wear masks. Be aware of social distance, two meters. Avoid touching your nose and eyes and mouth. Protective attire is useful if you are sick or taking care of somebody who is sick. If you are sick, you have to isolate yourself, stay home, and if you have fever and experiencing uh, difficulty of breathing, you have to ask uh, medical help. How is COVID-19 um, spread? COVID-19 commonly spread from an infected person to another person through the following. Close contact, breathing in someone's respiratory droplets after they, are, they have a cough, sneeze, laugh, or sing. Number two, contaminated surfaces, touching something with the virus on it, then touching your nose, mouth, eyes without washing your hands. Number three is common greetings like handshakes, hugs, and kisses. The risk of getting COVID-19 is evolving daily and varies between and within the community. Overall, the risk remains high. This doesn't mean that we will all get the disease but it means that there is already a great impact on our healthcare system. To stay healthy and to protect ourselves and others, we must be mindful of the ever-present risk of exposure to the virus. Some settings and situations increase the risk of getting the virus, such as close spaces with a poor ventilation, crowded places where there's a large or a lot of people uh, together, and close contact where you cannot keep two meters apart from each other. So uh, we have to be very vigilant, protect ourselves and others, and follow our health guidelines. Now from the father of medicine, Hippocrates said, let your food be your medicine and your medicine be your food. So let's now hear from Miriam Wilmoth with her uh, healthy recipes and hands-on vegan cooking. Hello everyone, it's a pleasure to be with you today. And in this video, we'll be showing you how to make a scrambled tofu three ways, which includes presentation. We will be showing you how to make a salmon steak substitute and then gazpacho, which is a cold soup. There are some ingredients that we won't be able to show you, but uh, like hollandaise sauce, and also the ingredients for gazpacho, because we don't have enough time. But if there's something that you want to know, let us know and we will be happy to help you. Hi, welcome to Vegan Kitchen. I'm Miriam. Vegan cooking is absolutely no meat, fish, dairy, eggs, and minimal use of fats, sugar, and stomach irritating spices. Vegan cooking 
required skills in food preparation, and we've got to use our imagination. It is important to educate ourselves. There should be a variation. Food needs to look good, taste good, and to do us good. Flavor, color, texture of food should complement with each other. That's why we need to present food in an attractive manner that would invite the appetite and nourish the body. Starting with breakfast, we've got to start the day right. Breakfast is the raw meal to skip. A hearty breakfast when the body is rested and best able to digest food and most in need of energy. Eat a substantial amount of breakfast and it should be the largest meal of the day. Freshly squeezed lemon juice is a great way to start the day. And we strongly encourage you to get, to get into the habit of consuming fresh fruit juices because they are the only beverages that supplies real vital energy. Drink them on an empty stomach. Not immediately following any other food and remember to drink them slowly. Today we are going to prove to you that vegan cooking is not boring as what other people think. And we're going to start with tofu scramble. You're going to be surprised because it's without egg, but it's to it totally looks like a scrambled egg. This versatile and easy to prepare dish is filling and delicious. Add tofu to a large size bowl and crumble using your hands. Add turmeric, cumin, nutritional yeast, chili powder, and mix it well. In a pan, heat five tablespoons of water, saute it for three minutes with the garlic. Yeah. Add tofu mixture and saute for 10 to 15 minutes, stirring occasionally until tofu is thoroughly heated and turning golden brown. For more scrambled egg look and texture, don't stir, simply turn once or twice. Add the tomatoes. Creamy in a mushroom. and season it with salt. Add the green onion. And brag aminos. The first one is the popular Filipino dish, which is uh, which what which is what we call top mm -hmm. And here, this is the brown rice and the marinated uh, beef-like uh, yeah. meat. And of course, there's always a plantain. So here we have Philippine scrambled egg top 
Okay, we have here the second plate. It's called Tofu No Egg Benedict. And of course, uh, Egg Benedict always, is always served with hollandaise sauce. And here we have the vegan hollandaise sauce. And there is the tempe bacon. And uh, you can serve it with bread or mashed potato. Okay, now we have the third plate and it's the Mexican breakfast. And of course, it always goes, it all, it's always served with uh, beans and guacamole, salsa, and a vegan sour cream. It's rolled, the scrambled egg is rolled in a tortilla. So this is Spanish cold soup, doesn't need, doesn't require cooking. And uh, because it's tomato base, all that we need to prepare are tough vegetables and some seasoning and serve cold. See, that's what, how simple it is. For our lunch, we have the tofu salmon steak. <coughs> to make the tofu salmon steak, crumble the tofu into small pieces in a mixing bowl. Add the garlic, salt, ginger, red pepper puree, <coughs> panko breadcrumbs, and two tablespoons of extra virgin oil. Mix very well and set aside for 30 minutes so to let the breadcrumbs absorb the moisture in it. And the mixture should be firm enough to form patties. If it's too soft, add more breadcrumbs. The tofu mixture should be about the same green color as salmon. <coughs> So there we have it for our first plate. It's salmon steak with tartar sauce. And this is our second plate, the salmon steak with Asian sauce. The Asian sauce is a mixture of the soya sauce and of course the ginger and uh, a little bit of lemon. Now how do we eat? Space your meals and eat at regular times, keeping five to six hours between its meal. Eat when relaxed and happy, and so the food slowly and thoroughly. Don't drink with your meals. And drinking at the same time with meals dilutes the potency of the digestive juices. It has to be three to four varieties of foods at a meal because too many varieties will confuse the stomach and avoid overeating. The liver and like the rest of our digestive system is always overworked by overeating. And vegetables should always make up the largest part of a meal. And how do we eat? We eat for strength and not for drunkenness. Eat only what you need to satisfy your hunger. Now we go to supper time. Evening is the time to skip meals. Two times, two meals a day are better than three. When you retire, the stomach should have its work all done so it may rest with you. Avoid eating just before going to bed. And the suggested time is two meals, 8 a.m. and 2 p.m. And for three meals, it's 6 a.m., 12 noon, and 6 p.m. It isn't easy to make lifestyle changes, especially when it comes to changing what we eat. And it will take some willingness to allow our taste to change gradually. 
Of course, we have to go slowly. And don't clear the meat, fish, dairy, oil out of your kitchen all at once. It is important to make a weekly menu and add one menu at a time. Don't ask someone to change diet unless you have something better to offer. And of course, temperance is the key, which means moderate use for what is good and abstinence from all that is harmful. Thank you for watching. Thank you, brothers and sisters, for watching our presentation on healthy living and vegan cooking. We pray that you will be well and that you'll be in good spirits through the coming week and through the coming year as we face this pandemic. We ask now that you bow your heads and let us have a word of prayer and thanks to our Father. Loving Father, thank you so much for your word. Thank you for the messages that you've given us on how that we can live healthier and more prosperous lives. We ask that you help us to be the witnesses to others by our lifestyle and by the things that we do as well as the things that we say. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. That was a great presentation. Thank you so much. I would like to thank you, uh, Sister Nancy and Sister Miriam, and my friend there, uh, Sunny Wilmot, the one who gave a prayer. By the way, Nancy and uh, Miriam are sisters, and uh, Sunny is the husband of uh, Miriam. And I thought there'll be uh, other uh, siblings will be, oh, the one who sang. The one who sang that's uh, Mercy, uh, Mercy, the sister of Nancy also. So this uh, this is a family, uh, uh, what you call that, uh, family uh, operation. <laughs> anyway, uh, I thank you so much, and I wish that you can prepare more program uh, or more presentations like this uh, in health or in cooking or whatever, and we'll be very happy to be able to include that in our uh, programs online uh, in our virtual uh, presentation of our programs. Anyway, we still, uh, let me see if I can play uh, Christmas music here, uh, if I can, otherwise uh, we'll just uh, dismiss again. Uh, let me see, okay, let's see.
His law is love, and His gospel is peace. Chain shall He break, for the slave is our brother, and in His name all oppression shall cease. Sweet hymns of joy. Grateful chorus raise we let all within us praise his holy name Christ is the Lord Oh praise his name forever his Thank you so much for uh, watching our program this evening. I, uh, I hope, I wish that uh, you have been uh, uh, not only entertained, but I wish that you have uh, learned something from our program. Anyway, I'm going to pray again. Thank you. Thank you so much, dear Father, for uh, this uh, Christmas season the, where the world is remembering your birth, dear Jesus. Dear God, thank you so much uh for because of your love that you sent your only begotten son lord jesus uh to even die for us to redeem us from sin and whosoever believeth in him will not perish but have everlasting life that's what we're looking for dear father we would like to have everlasting life so we can enjoy eternity with you i pray now that you dismiss us with your blessing this evening we ask all this favor in jesus holy name i pray Amen. Good night, everybody, and I will see you again on Saturday. Continue praying for our program. And by the way, if you, uh, if you please, uh, could you please go to our, to our uh, YouTube page and maybe you can click subscribe and notification. You just have to watch it maybe one or two minutes and then click subscribe. And uh, it will really help us also boost our program so we can reach more people. We thank you. Merry Christmas to all.